This is Quarter Paint. It's been a while. Back with another video. This time on converting and kit bashing. Like an orc player. So this video is going to be less about technical skills and more about process. I often get asked about how I build the models I actually build, especially some of my orcs. And I just wanted to review some steps and how I actually go about this process. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using this Mega Knob conversion that I did recently to walk us through the stages of my conversion and kit bash process. So I have five steps that I think go into my conversion and kit bashing process. That is picking a point of inspiration, having an end goal, organizing, brainstorming, and actually doing the build. So step one, having a point of inspiration for this project for me was this Ambot miniature. These things were awesome. I saw these things and the first thing that came to mind was I need to do something with these. However, what you have to keep in mind is that inspiration can come from anywhere. It can come from a single bit, a miniature, a picture, a drawing, but have a, a, a jumping off point, something that excites you about the project. Step two, having an end goal, for me is helpful because I like having a, a target, something to move towards. So with these Ambots, I knew I wanted to make Mega Knobs. That was my end goal, is to turn these guys into something cool. But the great part is, your end goal can be anything. And it's actually really helpful if you're new to this process to start with a character. Here you're seeing my war boss. That was one of my first early big conversions. I knew that I needed a big war boss. My end goal was a big badass war boss. I had that target. It helped me move forward on the project. So the next step is a little different for everyone. If you're new to wargaming or you've been in it for a long time, you can realize you can collect a lot of stuff and it can be hard to stay organized. You know, I like to deceive myself that I have these little plastic bins to keep everything nice, nice. But in reality, I am a complete mess sometimes. So when I actually have a project to work on, I find it really helpful to organize myself. What I do is I go through my collection of bits and kind of organize out a separate collection that really focuses in on items that might be helpful for just this project. I also find it really helpful to organize all my tools. I just kind of know what I've got and I have it out in front of me and I'm ready to go. Step four, I think, is probably the most fun part of the process. And I put in some footage here of me brainstorming. This is the chance for you to kind of just get to play around a little bit with your little gray men. You get to kind of grab all the bits you've organized and just start to kind of envision things. This is where really some of my most creative things happen when I start to just kind of hold things together and kind of uh, think about unique ways I can put things together or unique ways the bits can be utilized. You can see I'm holding up guns, I'm holding up horns and spikes, I'm putting up banners. I even tried out seeing if it would look good to have a, an engine on the back of this thing or, or some, some piping or exhaust. This is all just that stage where you start to kind of see how these pieces might work and what ideas really resonate with you. Something that gets you excited again about what you're building. I really think the brainstorming phase flows perfectly into the last step of actually building. So I left in a, a bunch of footage, you know, some scraps of me actually doing the build here. I didn't record everything, but you can see as you watch the footage, part of it is that I'm also brainstorming as I'm building too. Uh, the build process is really just a bunch of stages of problem solving. I, I come up with an idea via brainstorming, and then I have to figure out how I'm actually gonna make that work, where I'm, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna use some green stuff, 
Uh, and you can see there I'm using blue tack as kind of a, a, a temporary sticky substance to just kind of mock up things as I go. This allows you to kind of visualize during the build process without committing to it with just, you know, plastic glue. So you can see I'm working on the gun arm here. I knew on that right arm I really wanted like a big shooter, just something really dramatic looking. So I'm sorting through the pieces. I found some pieces that worked. I cut off the lower part of the arm, uh, you know, and I start to brainstorm and experiment, but the, the, the process is, is a back and forth between step four and five. I'm envisioning how I want that gun to look I'm using some of my tools, you know, the, the glue and, and the sanding and, and here are some of the plastic card. I was thinking about at first extending the barrel, but that actually ended up turning into a, uh, a whole separate barrel as I was going to do uh, like a triple barreled big shoot on this guy. My essential piece of advice for the build phase is be willing to make mistakes. Be open to trying stuff that may not work at first in the effort to really come out with something exciting or interesting. So again, you can see, I'm just kind of trying to utilize all my tools here. You saw me sawing. You saw me uh, using the pin vise for some drilling. Jumping forward here, you can see I've got parts of him mocked up now. I'm using the blue stuff to uh, really kind of give myself a vision of, of where this is going. I've actually committed to some of the parts on the, the gun arm where, where I've glued in some pieces, but you can see the jaw pops off and I have the horns kind of tacked on. This was all just, you know, temporary for now, just, just as I'm kind of working through the process. So this is roughly what the final build came out like. You can see I utilized a bunch of the bits that I had set out for myself, used some green stuff, used some plastic card, and it's amazing with a good conversion, you also step up your uh, paint game and you can really take it to the next step. So I'm gonna close out the video with some pictures of some projects, just some before and after photos. Here are some of the after photos of the Mega Knob project itself. This was a big mech on a trike back when that was a thing. This was another trike project, actually, a knob biker. This was the start of my war bus, you know? If you follow these stages, you can go a long way with this. So again, those five steps, picking a point of inspiration, having an end goal, organizing, brainstorming, and doing the build. I feel like this has boiled down my process of actually doing a kit bash and conversion. And I feel like this is a great set of steps for you to kind of jump into a project that you've been thinking about doing yourself. That's it guys. Thanks. Let me know what you think of the video. As always, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And you can also follow me over as Quarter Paint on Instagram. Thanks.